Hello and welcome to another budget and leg it video part two one two of this clutch video as you can see we have the clutch here now there's three things I want to show you just so you're aware of this kind of goes with all clutches as you can see from the clutch hopefully you can see this one side of the clutch is relatively flat and the other side kind of sticks out a bit now the side that sticks out a bit goes towards the gearbox and what that means is if you imagine the gearbox the engine would be here so don't face this towards the engine face this in towards the gearbox because if you face it the other way it's going to hit and it's not going to work properly and it's going to make horrible noises now not all of them but most of them do actually say i don't know if the camera's going to pick that up let's see there right there it actually says gearbox side so it does give you an idea it's very important now if both sides of the clutch looks the same then don't really worry about it whichever the thickest side of the clutch is put towards the gearbox unless it does say something different inside the clutch because there could be the odd couple of weird cards out there i don't know anyway what we've done is we've cleaned out all the crap from the gearbox and we've blown off all the crap from the engine so we're literally ready to put this clutch back before we put it back what we need to do is center it and what i mean by that is as you can see we need to make sure this is dead center inside the plate because if it's off to one side the clutch won't well the, the gearbox will go in but the bolts won't line up and it'll make your life hell so what we need to do is get this centered it's a very easy cheap tool to do that and this is it very very simple very cheap and everyone should have one so what we do is poke this through the actual uh, pressure plate now this isn't sticking through enough so what we need to do is wind wind this back just so this sticks out enough so i put it through the pressure plate what it through the clutch like and as you can see it's sticking out too far now so i need that about there just going to hold it there and screw the big one in first just to kind of get me roughly where i need to be now i need to screw the little one in and what that does is that opens up the plug at the end which then essentially wedges very difficult to do this one-handed you can see that's now going up and that will wedge now that's actually poking through and it's wedging the actual uh, clutch now that's not in the middle as you can see we've got a huge gap here and no gap at the top easiest way to do it is pick three points on the actual pressure plate that looks the same so i'm going to pick these three kind of little indentations here they more or less look the same so I'll just do this by eye first now you can see we have that gap all the way around the actual clutch and i use these three little kind of indentations here one there one there and one there to line up the clutch that is ready to put back in it's as simple as that and that tool holds it so all i've got to do now is actually put it in the in the engine i don't have to try and hold it it all, all does everything my, does everything itself and it makes your life so much easier believe me now what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this back in there's no point me showing you because i'm only putting the six bolts back onto this um, I'm not going to be able to film it because I can't, it's just too dark. Uh, once I've done that, we'll turn the camera back in and get the clutch on, or the gearbox on. Sorted. Right, hopefully you can see in here, oh yeah, you can see quite good. I haven't taken that out. You can see how much these fins have moved in, the thickness of my finger. So you can actually tell from a clutch, if you take a gearbox off and these fingers are, are very flat the way they are now, you can tell really without taking a clutch off or a pressure plate off how good the clutch is. And you can just see how much them fingers have moved in when you see a clutch and the fingers are all the way out you know the clutch is bad um but all i've got to do now is undo the back screw and the whole thing comes out and that is going to be you're not gonna be able to see but that's going to be level anyway and here is the clutch you can see i put the new bearing in just get a screwdriver pop it out push the new one in simple as that and it's in lovely that's all been cleaned and now the next part is to get it back in there lovely right hopefully you can see i'm having problems with the sun i know i just said that i'm having problems with the sun in ireland i know but what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this gearbox up and try and get a couple of bolts right now lucky enough we have a couple of bolts which you can't take out um 
what you want to make sure is when you're putting up that nothing's in the way if you've got any wires or pipes or anything get them out of the way because the last thing you want to do is get them trapped in the gearbox especially at the top because you won't see it you could put the gearbox in kind of put a couple of bolts in and before you know it you've broken a pipe or a wire right at the top so you want to get that done first once you've done that then let's see how easy this goes in and you just twist this gearbox slightly just to clear it first yeah. the problem is I started the gearbox at the wrong angle but I should hopefully be able to just jiggle it so I can uh, get it in the right angle now I think I've cleared everything so the gearbox needs to kind of be lifted now lifted straight up or the back up rather than being lifted up anymore just checking now there's nothing caught no we look good maybe I can keep jacking the back up can I there we go right now we have to be close to that oh we're close we're close This is why I don't like the way Volkswagen, VW and all that do the drive shafts because as soon as you touch it, you're covered in oil and you slip. Now I think I got that in. We're covered in oil. I got that in. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is just get a couple of bolts on it. And I'll turn the camera back on and show you what it looks like. Right, so as you can see, we've got a couple of bolts in very loosely, but as you can see, there's, a, there's an even gap all the way around the gearbox don't try and put bolts in anywhere if you've got a huge gap say you've got a small gap here and a huge gap on the top there's something not right and do not force the bolts together to align the gearbox because that again you can cause serious damage um, so i'm going to tighten all these bolts but also be aware that you've got here you can just see a bracket now make sure you put all the brackets back because this holds all the wires for the starter motor and everything so that goes on the starter motor bolts because if you don't, it won't cause you a problem straight away, but further down the line, you'll get pipes rubbing and, and all sorts breaking because you haven't put all the clips and stuff back together. Another thing you want to make sure before you get carried away and tighten everything up is to put the actual gearbox mount back. So I'm going to put that on now. Because if you don't do it now and you lift up the engine and think everything, you're going to have to lift everything back down because there's not going to be enough room to get this thing in here. So as soon as I've done all that, tightened up all these bolts again, You've seen the bolts with the gearbox on the ground. I'm not going to be able to show you because I just cannot film and do it at the same time. We'll turn the camera back on and uh, we'll get going with this. Right, so we've got all the bolts on our gearbox and we've got our gearbox mount on. The gearbox and engine is still loose because we haven't done our bottom gearbox, but at least it's being supported by its own weight so we can remove the bar. Now all the sensor we've got to do is bolt everything back on. So the first thing I'm going to do is bolt on the slave cylinder for the clutch. Now, we do have to be careful is because this is going to be under a bit of pressure because obviously we didn't push the clutch back. So we should hopefully just be able to push that in and just get that in place. Make sure the ball is lined up. That is very important. Need to make sure that's lined up level. Now, yeah. and just take our time. We can gently push that in. Now, I'm holding the pressure. And then I'm gonna try and put these two bolts back in, which is easier than it looks. 
can I screw them in by hand as much as I can so this doesn't completely come out. Now, okay there. Second one. socket on that. I know my hands are getting in the way but this is the problem with doing this with no cameraman. But as you can see, you can see the two bolts I'm doing on this slave cylinder. So I'm going to tighten up them two bolts and then I've got one, two, just the camera here because it's just going to struggle to kind of be filming this as you can see. The next thing I want to put on is the actual the gear linkage, you can see the gear linkage is here and that bolts onto the three holes. We've got one, two, three over there and it lays on top of the cylinder we've just put in. So I'm going to tighten them bolts up and then I'll turn the camera back on to see where we're at there. Right, as you can see, that's all done. And now is a good time to check your clutch feels okay. Make sure it goes through all the gears because there's our gear linkage cables and just make sure it's doing everything it should do. Right, I still have to change the oil and put dry shafts and stuff on, but the, as regards the oil, I have to service this, so I'm going to be doing that in another video. Uh, the reason why we didn't have to take the oil out before we took the gearbox out is because the way these cups are designed. Um, so you don't have to drain the oil before you take the gearbox out like you do on most gearboxes. But you still need to change the oil after you've done the clutch because you just, well, it could have been in there for a long time, so... But as we can see, we've more or less done everything from the top. We've got to put the battery on, but we need to work underneath now. So we're going to lift this up, put the drive shafts on, put the bottom engine mount on, come to the top, put the battery on, and we're more or less done with the older clutchy Rooney. Right, so I put this drive shaft on. Um, not going to show you that because obviously we're going to show you doing the far one, which is exactly the same. The only difference is this drive shaft is longer. But what we are going to do now is put this bottom engine mount in. Uh, hopefully you can see this. I'm just struggling with light at the minute. I need to get this lined up. Now you do the same. We put bolts in. We do not tighten anything until we've got all the bolts in place. And then we can start tightening stuff. Now what I need to do is pull the gearbox slightly towards me. Just hold it there I get one bolt in. Do the same with this one. Now, we can uh, zap all them up. 16 mil it is. Right, now our engine is secure. So, it doesn't rock. Now this is a good time to check everything, make sure everything's in, all your little clips are in place, all the brackets are in place, make sure everything is fine, because all we really need to do now is put on a drive shaft, put on a battery box, and that's really it. And take it for a test drive and see what happens. So, let's get the old drive shaft in. Right, I finally got this drive shaft back in, but it's goosed. Um, it's just completely seized. That's why I couldn't get it out because uh, it was seized and I put it all back together and it's seized. So, just an absolute nightmare, but I'm gonna leave it in for the minute because I have to get this off my lift because I've got other jobs on and there's no major rush on this thing anyway so what i've done is i've just put the bolts in on the bottom board joints as you can see also put the main bolt in there and i've done the track rod end hopefully if you can see come this way maybe now yeah, i'm not getting blinded by the light you can see so now we've got to do is put on the battery box in a few bits and essentially it's done but i'm going to have to strip this again to put another drive shaft on the joys right so all i have left to do really here is put the world's stupidest battery box back together it is just ridiculous it's the bottom half of it so we'll screw that down and put then you have to put these wires across it and all it's just stupidly designed anyway so them three bolts back put the battery back and that's essentially it right the battery box is in as we can see unfortunately i don't have my um tripod with me so it is just a nightmare trying to film this and i'm just gonna just screw the battery Fasten her down. Very difficult to do this with one hand. But there we go. Now for this stupid thing. I have to put 
that on first I think and then put this over the top of it once I do that I'll turn the camera back on and uh, yeah we're nearly finished right so what you need to do is you need to put the uh, plus on first then you slide this case over the top then we can put the top on absolutely bloody stupid but that's just the way it's designed so we can now reconnect our power here tighten that down and then reconnect our earth remember we have some sort of wire on here so it must be on too there's a kind of a big draw so i'm going to sort all that out once i sort that out i'll turn the camera back on so we are done um what we've got to put on obviously the air filter now what you have to make sure is i'm not going to do this because i've got a lot more things to do in this a lot more videos but as you put it back make sure you put these um these pipes back because otherwise the car might not run properly or could run uneven so make sure you put the vacuum pipes back it is important but essentially that's it um now i did have a few problems we're going to have to take that drive shaft out again so i can't even test drive this um but yeah that's essentially how you do a clutch on one of these uh just a nightmare for me filming because i haven't had my uh tripod and all that and just had other problems blah 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 but anyway that's it how to do a clutch on one of these bad boys lovely so look please like share and subscribe and all that follow us on facebook and instagram and all that jazz all the links down below as normal but most importantly don't forget get your hands dirty see you for the next one